All right, uh, another miracle story from Kathmandu, that of a man who fell nearly 200 feet and survived to tell us his story. Krishna Ramtar was on top of the famous Dharahara Tower in Kathmandu with his family when the quake struck. Now, this is of course that iconic historic structure that collapsed, the visuals for which we are actually showing you. Now, the tower, as we all know, collapsed into a heap of ruin and debris taking all those in it but the 17 year old Krishna who was on top of that tower miraculously survived. He did however lose his sister and his mother-in-law in the tragedy. Uh, when earthquake was coming there then I, I didn't know what has happened. For a few minutes to confess my family. Mosang Yago, Mommy Ru, but a boy, Sasumoy, boy, go to death boy. How about the aisle? At this will I do her back to us. I was more to shape Bogus or Donny by Bogon, the Apojoga on the boy, and a pistol like our joke. All right, Manoga is with us at this moment. Uh, Manoga, this is definitely a miracle story. Imagine falling from two hundred feet. Coming down, it's almost like uh, you know being on the eighth floor, the eighth floor balcony, coming uh, absolutely down and somehow managing to survive. Of course, uh, there is a matter of grief in his family that other members have uh, uh, have not been able to survive. But uh, this certainly is a miracle story. Well, it's a combination of emotions. I would put it this way, where he has survived, but his loved ones haven't survived. So it's pain, agony, yet the relief that he is still alive and he is healthy and walking and that's more important. It is of course a miracle on how this person has, saved, has been saved, how he reached the hospital. He remembers nothing, but the fact that he's safe and sound is in itself one of the biggest achievements as far as the, the whole process is concerned. But more importantly, I would also put one thing in perspective, that this is just one of those stories that are now have started pouring in from across Nepal where people have had miraculous uh, escapes. There have been stories where people have been saved either by someone else or maybe they have just managed through sheer willpower in another case where we found someone else or where uh, he saved his life and his life was saved and he managed to reach the hospital also despite certain injuries. So it's not just one case but there you will be hearing many more cases in next few hours. Absolutely, Manugya. Uh, we'll be hearing uh, many more cases and you'll be getting us along with the team of reporters uh, more of such uh, miracle stories. But uh, this one is, uh, you know, absolutely, absolutely, uh, you know, I'm at a loss of words at this moment. Uh, it's, it's nothing short of a miracle for this man to fall from the eighth floor. Where exactly was he on that Dharahara tower? And we'll get you pictures of that tower, which now no more exists, of course. It was an iconic historic structure. Manukya, can you hear me? Uh, yes, this is one of the iconic structures which was the identification for one of the most busy places in Nepal. And Dharahara has been uh, one of the iconic buildings in Nepal, a heritage structure that is no more, that doesn't exist. The whole building collapsed and was turned to rubble and debris. Several people were stuck in it, several people couldn't even manage to breathe the next moment and they were, they simply died. But this is one story but despite the fact that this person remembers almost nothing on how did he reach the hospital, he is safe and sound. And this itself says, says and explains the kind of miraculous stories that have started pouring in. This, of course, uh, Dharahara was one of the iconic stars. And he was on the eighth floor. And remember, if he was on, on the terrace, he was on the highest floor because he was busy bird watching, which, he was which was a regular habit with him. He used to visit this place regularly, sit there for a while, spend some time early morning, but this day, being a Saturday, he was a little late and he was sitting on the terrace. But, but the fact that he saved is itself a miracle which even words cannot explain. Absolutely, Manoga. And what you can see on your screen right now is a two-window representation of what we are actually trying to show you. On your right is, of course, that iconic historic monument. It's something like, if we were to compare it in India, it's, it's something like the Kutub Minar of uh, Kathmandu. Uh, and on top of that, uh, this gentleman actually went there, right on top. His name uh, is Krishna Ramtar. He was there right at the very top, on the rooftop. 
That's when suddenly at 11.41 a.m., earthquake struck of the magnitude of 7.9. The iconic tower came crashing down. All those people who were, who were inside the staircase could not uh, come out alive. But this definitely, most certainly, is a miracle story of this person, Mr. Ramtar, who was on top, on the rooftop. He actually came down and he has survived. What we have learned from the hospital authorities is Sanjay Sharma is getting you that interview, which we'll play in a short moment from now. He's healthy, he's walking. Of course, there's a personal tragedy where he has lost family members. Let's quickly listen in to what uh, Krishna Ramtar told us after surviving miraculously. Uh, when earthquake was coming there, then I, I didn't know what has happened. For a few minutes, uh, conscious my family. Well, most of the but a boy ni, sasu mommy boy ni got a death boy ni. Khawar te aaya. At this point, I do have a doctor also. Well, ni, but the most of the ship walk also. Well, I don't know why walk on the other side of the boy ni. At this point, I was a doctor.